Hey guys, this is Jonna, the Preppy Crafty Girl, and I'm here with my Flea Market finds. I went with a friend this last weekend to the flea market. Unfortunately, our day was cut short because it decided to rain and they close up all the tables like they cover them, you know, so that you can't buy anything. So sadly, um, <laughs> that happened, but I was still before then, um, able to get a bunch of cool finds and I'm pretty excited about it. So I will share what I ended up getting. So let's just start and get these off. I got some, um, really cute pat vintage patterns. Uh, I'm working on a boho journal right now and I thought I would tuck this in. This is just adorbs. Look at her. I love her. She's like such a diva. <laughs> so anyway, um, so this will be going in the boho kit. I don't know if it's all there. It appears that um, maybe somebody has made one of these outfits. I know caftan are very popular back then. Um, but anyway, I just thought it'd be cute. So this is going to go in a kit. These other ones, I'm probably going to put in other kits that I'm working on. Look at her. Oh my gosh. I love her. She's so cute. Look at her. And then her, this little aqua. I thought this was really cute. It has a four leaf clover on her pocket. I'm working on, I only have enough for one, um, like, uh, oh my gosh, all I can think of, St. Patty's Day kit, because I got rid of all my St. Patty's stuff last year when I did a St. Patty's kit in my, kits in my shop, but I have a few pieces left that I'm going to make a kit up with, and she will be, uh, this one right here will be going in that kit. And then look at these lovely ladies. I'm also going to be offering some of these as printables. Um, I will have some printables in my shop because they are not under, um, I called uh, to find out about how the um, copyrights work, but some of these are under copyright but I have them in my collection that are not copywritten and people have been asking me for some kind of download. So um, anyway, I'm having them go be, to be gone through and I'll see what I can do as far as maybe offering them as, as a digital. I've never done digitals on there. I want to do digitals because I have a lot of stuff like from the 1800s that I would love to put up there as digitals. And um, so anyway, yeah, it's a thought. So Okay, so I got those. Then I'm working on some road trip uh, road trip kits. So I got, they have to definitely be cleaned up. They're really nasty. But I got, look at these, the Skylark. These are the little things on the side of vehicles that say what kind of car it is. And I, since I found four that were all the same, I'm going to do four road trip camping type Kit. So I thought uh, everybody's going to get one of these in their kit for sure. And then I found these that I want to add. They say Park Avenue. I thought these would be so cute. So these are going to go in. I have a, a couple of birthday kits coming out. And I thought about putting these in with the birthday kits. I'm not, I don't know yet. Maybe I might do a high, high fashion line. I'm not sure. Oh, oops, that got in there. Then I found this vintage wrapping paper. I wish I could have gotten more. Look at this. But I'm working on a letter writing kit. So it's going to be all about the post office and mailing, happy mail, and things like that. So some of this will be going in that kit. I only have enough, I think, for one kit of stuff. And then I'm going to be adding this in, which is a brass stamp. And uh, this says it's from the postmaster and it says necessary return postage guaranteed. And then it has something for postal inspection. And then it says uh, the contents merchandise fourth class mail. So this is original. This will be going in that kit. I was uh, waiting till I could find something very unique to put in with that. Uh, 
the Happy Mail kit, and I believe I have found it, so I was pretty excited about this find. And I just love this wrapping paper. Oh my gosh, I'm going to share some for sure in that kit. So cute. Very 1960s. Um, I got a dictionary for boys and girls. Like I needed another dictionary. Like I need another hole in my head. Um, I have so many of them. And my friend was like, Jonna, you can't just leave that there. So <laughs> I'm like, yes, I can. But she talked me into grabbing it because it's in really bad shape. Um, the copyright is 1914. However, this one is from 1949. And, um, so it has like all the little illustrations in it and okay. So yeah, I got another dictionary that some of that will make its way. The other thing I'm working on right now is I've got birthday kits coming. I have three or four of them and they have something really cool in them and I want to share them with you. In fact, I may do a video at the end of this or I may do another video and, um, Anyway, so I got some birthday greeting old postcards that I'm going to be, some of them are written on, some of them not, some of them are embossed, but these will be going in those kits. Um, and then here is an Easter one, which is written on from... 1912. Can you believe that? That the, that's on there for April 1st, 1912. Guess I will drop you a few lines. When are you going to write to me? I am I am something to come up there. Some of the some of these days and make you sorry. So, oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So I got some of those, which are fun. Uh, then I got a 1965. Like I need another yearbook. I have a ton of old yearbooks. However, when I saw this, the inside of the yearbook, I was like sold. I'm taking it. Oh, Look at the inside. Now this one I'm keeping for myself and I will probably, I don't know if I'll just leave the pages in and journal over them or if I will take the pages out. I'm not really sure. Look at this paint the town pink junior class play. Rebel without a cause. Holiday. Of course, it's just punch. It's all over but the shout and the height of anticipation. Go, Johnny, go. So anyway, just I love. Who doesn't love a good yearbook? Oh, my goodness. Look at her. She is Queen Karen. Uh, look at her glasses. Oh, my goodness. Then we have Princess Constance Knoll and Princess Loretta Durham and Princess Connie Shiverdecker and Princess Karen Frazier. Ah. Anyway, gotta love it. So I had to pick it up. When I saw this, I was when I saw the inside of the book and it's on the inside of the back, I'm like, seriously, this is just like, oh my gosh. Look at her with her little bow and her tennis racket, basketball, baseball. She's in the choir, I guess. I guess he's supposed to be the book nerd. I don't know. He's got a bunch of books, her too. And um, then the cheerleader, the tomahawk. Uh, is this not great with that red convertible? Oh my goodness, in the fall, this is everything yummy. Okay, so I got that, sorry. Then for myself, okay, I have, I don't know if you guys know, but I've had for years and years, since I was a kid, I had a fixation with the Partridge family. Yes, I know, typical childhood from the 70s. And I can't, I have almost all of their, um, their albums. I think I'm only missing one now. But I came across this, the Partridge Family Christmas card, and it had the Christmas card still in it. So how cute is that with the Christmas card? 
Somebody tucked a Christmas card in there. And um, I don't think that's the original Christmas card that comes with it. I believe it's supposed to have the Partridge family on it. I'm not sure. I need to do some research in that area. But it has the album, and I do have a record player, and I will be playing it probably sometime today. So, anyway, pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about that find. Like, seriously? Okay, I know, y'all. But it is what it is. That's my obsession. I've got some travel kits coming up. Uh, soon and I found these stamps uh, these ink ink blot stamps from the ink press and they're of globes so these will be going in to a kit if um, depending on how many I make they may not make it in there I may just stamp those two things on something in the kit and I got for the travel theme I got these I'm going to be putting in the kits look at these these little nesting doll um, I got a whole bag of them, nesting doll keychains. So you know how like you go on trips and you come back with a little trinket. So I thought this would be cute. You could add it to a journal or a book that you're working on or just stick it on your desk. So those will be going in the kit. This was something that I got for myself because I have a collection of old diaries. And this is from 1912. And I uh, just thought it was so yummy. I had to get it. Come on, look at the coloring of the pages. It's just amazing. Someone sat here and wrote in here. And I think, I'm not really sure uh, if they got paid this money or they owed this money. Blue Hall Fair, Blue Hall Fair. Um, I don't know what this person did. Somebody's address is in here. But anyway, it's just, you know, some guys, um, there's a bunch of addresses in here, Massachusetts, Akron, Ohio, but look at these yummy little, which I, I'm thinking I'm going to scan these because, and then put them as a printable in my shop because these are just amazing. So I may do a whole printable of these and then you can download them um or i may do them for the travel journal i may take some of these pages and uh do a printable that will come with your kit not like a separate purchase they'll just come with the kit along with the car one i told you about that i was doing i'm doing a road trip i got these two auto mechanic and diesel uh home training <laughs> <laughs> booklet so I thought those would be kind of fun to put in those kits so I did get those I got the I'm doing some prayer journal kits coming up like I said and I got her so I may and I've got him and um, I may do a printable that you can download to um, with that kit that's kind of what I was thinking and I will do front and back of this card because the back of this card is just gorgeous it does have a little bit of discoloring down here but with the seashells and I mean, it's just amazing. So I thought about doing these as a printable that will go along with the kit. I don't know how to do that. I'm going to have to figure it out. So, um, okay. So I got 15 of these. I'm going to put these in some of my kits. Also, they have, um, quotes on the front. I actually use these myself they're practical English and effective speech, but I use these because they are eight, they are um, a five size. And so they're awesome to uh, use in an a five journal to um, either write on or I uh, just make a journal and I have a journal made of these and I'll have to um, show you one day what I did with it. But anyway, the paper in here is just lovely and i I'm tempted to keep a couple of these for myself because I love um, art journaling in them because I love the paper. Okay, so you all know that I have a bowling kit out there, which I need to put this in because I found a bowling league from 1940-1941 photo. Now, come on. This is going to be perfect. This will be going into that kit. So I do have a bowling kit out there. Um, I need to take a picture of this and attach it so that everybody who is, knows that if they buy that kit, they're going to be getting this picture. But I thought when I saw this, I'm like, I had to get it. 
these little ladies with their bowling balls. Oh my goodness. And they got the call pin numbers. And um, seriously, look at their little bowling shoes. It's, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome picture. Okay. So that's going to be going in the bowling kit. It's already in my shop, but I need to add it. I got this Sleepy Time picture book just because from 1946. And um, it's not, it's textured, but it's not um, a fabric book. It's definitely paper. But the pictures in here were just the sweetest. Oh, my goodness. Look at her little feet. Look at her looking out. Sleepy Time Tales. Look at the little doll. And I cannot believe it. this is from 1946. It's so vibrant. So it's pretty amazing um, how vibrant the pictures are still. So this was, must have been kept. Look at the puppy. I just love the illustrations in this. With the mermaid. I may have to send a copy of this to Zandra with the mermaid in there. So, And then last but not least... I got some really cool life magazines from the 1960s and these images will be making their way in uh, to the kits. I've also found one in here that I'm going, Oh yeah, I forgot. And I got this watercolor workshop. Y'all know, I don't know if you know, but I'm trying to watercolor. And so I've been taking some online classes with my library. So I picked this up because um, it teaches I think this is the one that had perspectives in it. Cute color harmonies. Um, chickens. I think this is the one that showed. Um, it shows you how to layer the colors on. Uh, but is this the one that helped with perspectives? I wonder if I got that one. Now that I'm thinking, because when I found it, then my friend started going through the other books. I wonder if she got it. And then she bought the rest of the stack right out from underneath me. Oh, I wanted the one with perspectives. Shoot. Well, all right. She must have got that one. But the images are really pretty, and I will learn about color. So I did get this one. Okay, then... Um, and we do pretty good shopping together because she doesn't like collect the same things that I get. I tend to more go for like paper and unusual finds for my kits. And, um, she's mainly buying bigger stuff for her house. So I don't know why she got the other art books, but all right. So I thought this was so cute. The images in this magazine, um, there are some in here that I want to use in, I'm going to frame a couple of these and I want to put them, one of them is going in my laundry room. I don't know if I can find it in here real quick. And then there's another one in here that I loved for, look at these. Do you remember these? 13 inch Playmate. So it was only $99.95, but you could pick it up and you could, the whole thing about it was that you could take it with you, um, you know, from room to room. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was so cute. If you had a TV room, oh my gosh, some of these images, but I can't believe how many images have cigarette smoking. Um, okay, so look at this one. Oh my goodness. I, I had this this advertisement before and it went in one of my birthday kits because I just thought it was the mo the cutest one and I was so upset I didn't like scan it and make a copy for myself I will be scanning this and making a copy for myself because for and I'll just shrink it down and use it um I just thought it was like it was just the cutest birthday it says, it's like having a party every day when you live in a gold medallion home. Anyway, yeah. Love that ad. Okay, where's the one I want to put in? Well, anyway. There's one of these I want to put in my laundry room. I'm going to frame it and put it in my laundry room. And then there's another one I want to put in my guest room. Let's see if I can find it. The one I want to put in my guest room has... And these are great to frame because they're so large. They just make a big impact. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. 
Look at that. I love, I love this. Why are they calling this a Swiss style chocolate cake when it is, what, isn't this German chocolate frosting? Maybe they had to call it Swiss because I guess we still had a sour taste in our mouth from the, from the German era, the World War II era. What are all these people? 45 minutes from downtown Tokyo. It was the hottest Sunday of the year in Tokyo, and practically everybody hit upon what seemed a sensible idea to seek relief at Zushi Beach. What they got instead was some concentrated exposure to the warmth of one another's companionship on a seashore so jam-packed that the sand and water all but vanished. Somewhere among the assembled half million were at least 300 lost children and their distraught mothers, some of whom perhaps got separated while looking up at the helicopter from which a photographer took this remarkable, cozy group portrait. Oh, my. They're all sitting on the ground, like, next, just next to each other. And then I, this must be the water? I have no idea. That is nuts. Look at that. I, th I, thought, I thought it was litter at first. Actual people. Fire on the French Riviera. That's just crazy. Anyway, let me see. Oh, if you had a man room, if you had a man room. I love this Howard Johnson. Okay, so the deal about Howard Johnson is my dad, whenever he'd go on a business trip, he'd stop at Howard Johnson's and he'd bring me back a roll of the Howard Johnson's lozenges or like a lifesaver type thing. Oh my goodness, I remember them to this day. They were clear and wrapped in clear. They were like colored, but they were clear. And then they were wrapped in a clear wrapper, individually wrapped each one. And they were um, square. Oh. I remember that so clearly. Oh my gosh, so long ago. Anyway, all right. Well, shoot, I can't find the one I want to put in my. Anyway, okay. So, anyway, some of those images will be making their way into kits and stuff. So, that is my haul um, from this weekend. And mainly, like I said, I only got myself like three things, four things. Everything else will be finding a way into the kits in the shop. So keep your eye out for those listings coming, coming soon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. And I will see you later. Bye guys.